Welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Dave. In this video series, we are going to monitor our potential trip to Mars and the influential people that are going to make that happen. Here's a little info on Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun, the second smallest planet in the solar system. Mars carries the name of the Roman god of war and is often referred to as the Red Planet. Back in the early 1600s, Galileo was the first person to observe Mars with a primitive telescope. In 1960, the Soviets launched a series of probes to Mars, including the first intended flybys and hard impact landings. But it wasn't until 1976 that NASA launched the Viking program, consisting of two orbiters, each with a lander that successfully south-landed on the Martian surface. There have been four successful robotically operated Mars rovers, all managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The Sojourner, also known as Pathfinder, the Opportunity, the Spirit, and Curiosity. These rovers all played a part in our journey today to try to put a man on Mars. The first step to Mars was the moon. We first stepped foot on the moon on July 20th, 1969. Our last trip to the moon was with Apollo 17 on December 14th, 1972. NASA has been working to try to get back to the moon. There seems to be no real rush to make that happen. The Space Launch System, or SLS, is way behind schedule and way over budget. It's now been 50 years since we first set foot on the moon. Five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff at dawn, the dawn of Orion and a new... Wait, what? 50 years? Come on now. Luckily, the visionary and entrepreneur Elon Musk feels we've waited way too long. Musk's plan is to put the first man on Mars by 2024 and then build a Mars colony beyond that. How does he plan on doing this, you ask? Well, sort of like this.